What's up vapers? Thanks for checking out Spin Fuels Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick and today we're going to be taking a look at proper e-liquid. So before I get into my review, I do want to give a huge shout out to Andre Puppies. I hope I'm not murdering your last name. I'm really sorry if I am. But anyways, he's the one that sent me this stuff for the purpose of review. I do apologize uh, that it's taken so long to do this review for you, but I've been swamped with all the stuff that I received from uh, VCC Tampa. So uh, finally getting around to this stuff, and I gotta say that I was uh, experimenting with it a little bit in the past, and we did receive some samples at the vape shop that I work at, which I was trying before. So I already have a good feeling about this uh, brand of e-liquid, and I have seen a ton of buzz on Instagram about it. So, uh, without further ado, let's get right into the reviews. I have my first flavor loaded up, which is going to be Green Label. Uh, I would also like to mention the fact that he sent along a nice little flavor list as well, uh, which is really handy dandy, uh, which I will be reading the flavor description on. Uh, first of all, it's going to be the Green Label, a refreshing sweet blend of 12 fruits and herbs balanced to create perfect harmony for your palate. All right, so uh, it does smell kind of herby, if you will, uh, a little bit citrusy, just on the smell. Um, I w will mention the fact that I am using my new flavor setup, which is the Ego One battery with the Kanger Sub Tank Nano on top, and I'm using fresh coils for each of these flavors, so uh, I won't get any flavor crossover. Anyways, let's get on with it. Uh, let's try our first puff here. And yeah, just like this, uh, the smell, I do get a little bit of that citrus flavor in there. It's really interesting. It's definitely got a nice balance to it. Um, you, you know, you get half herby vape and half citrusy fruity vape, which is kind of nice. Uh, one thing I do have to mention is the fact that it kind of tastes like uh, one of those Ricola cough drops, like the square ones. I hope you know what I'm talking about. If not, I'll put a picture of one right here. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it kind of tastes like that, but in a good way. I've always kind of liked those, and I kind of tend to chew on them faster than most people should. You know, if you have a cough, you shouldn't chew a cough drop, but I always end up crunching them. Uh, so that, that kind of what I get out of it. That's kind of what I get. Um, so let's take another puff. Uh, couldn't say it's an all-day vape for me, but it's really interesting. As far as a palate clen cleanser is concerned, if you're used to vaping like really sweet stuff or something like that and you just get tired of your e-liquid, definitely pick up a bottle of this because it'll uh, cleanse your palate right out and you'll be starting fresh whenever you uh, decide to drip another e-liquid. Um, let's take one more puff and I'll get to my ratings. All right, so for flavor on this one, I'm going to give it a four. Uh, really well-balanced flavor. You get a little bit of that herby, you know, slightly kind of minty kind of flavor, but not like menthol mint. It's more of just like a natural kind of, you, you take a mint leaf and break it and smell it, and that's what you, I'm kind of getting out of it, as well as like a citrusy note as well. Uh, very, very well uh, executed as far as the flavor is concerned. Uh, I'm fairly impressed with this already. Uh, so four for the flavor for the vapor. I'll give it a four pretty standard for this I'm not sure the PG VG ratio uh, Actually, let me check and see if he told me here All right, so for my ratings on this one, for my for the, the <clears throat> all right, so for the flavor, all right, so for my ratings on this one for the flavor, I'm gonna give it a four. It gets that really nice balance of kind of an herby flavor, like kind of like a mint, like a fresh mint rather than a menthol mint. Uh, it's basically like you just take a, a mint leaf and break it open and just smell it, and that's kind of what I'm getting out of it. And, and a nicely balanced citrus as well, fruity flavors. Kind of, I get more of a citrus than anything else, but uh, really well balanced e-liquid. Nothing too overbearing, and I think the execution on this one is really, really good. So four for the flavor. As for the vapor, four as well. Uh, love the, the amount of vapor that you get out of this. I'm not sure the PG-VG ratio. They do seem a little bit on 
the thinner side, uh, I'm guessing more towards the 70-30 or maybe 60-40 uh, blend. Uh, obviously high VG, but uh, so for that, uh, not bad for for the vapor and for the throat hit, I'm going to give it a 5. It's right where I want it to be, not overbearing, not too light, just right, right where I want it to be. So that does it for the green label. Let's move on to our next flavor. All right, so for my next flavor today, I'm going to be trying Red Label. The flavor description reads, A strawberry and Nutella cheesecake crepe with a decadent drizzle, a must-try for all dessert lovers. And as you know, you guys know, I don't really tend to favor the dessert flavors, but this one is really intricate and interesting to me. So it has a lot going on in this one. So let's see what I get out of it. Let's try our first puff on this stuff. So right away, I do have to mention that I do get a lot of that Nutella flavor. As for the cheesecake, it's kind of just like the cream blend to it all. Uh, it's in there, but it's not overbearing. Uh, the crepe, I definitely get a little bit of that crepe flavor. It's sort of interesting. Uh, as far as the decadent drizzle, kind of a, like a caramely flavor in there as well. Uh, the strawberry is really muted and way in the background. Uh, I really don't get strawberry out of this one at all. Um, but well, that's not really, you know, it doesn't really draw too much attention away from the rest of the flavor. Uh, I almost get a little bit of like a cinnamon, maybe not a cinnamon, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Uh, there's just so much going on in this one. Uh, let's take another puff here. And as for the Nutella flavor, I'm getting a bit of like nuttiness to it. Maybe it's a hazelnut, which is kind of what uh, Nutella is, so... Uh, it's in there, but it's again just kind of like mixed in. Everything just kind of gets hidden under the other and the next ingredient. So I don't know how I feel about this one. It's not quite what I was expecting. Uh, the strawberry, I'm completely missing the strawberry for some reason. I still can't find it anywhere in this e-liquid. Uh, but again, it, it does make for a really decent uh, a blend as far as the flavor overall goes. It's a decent blend. It's kind of like a nice desserty mix. Uh, so I'm really not going to knock too many points off of that. Uh, so let's take one more puff on this stuff and I'll get to my ratings. Alright, so as for the flavor on this one, I'm going to give it a 3. Uh, everything just kind of stacks up a little bit differently than I expected it to. Uh, definitely get more of the nuttiness than anything. It kind of leaves a nutty flavor on your tongue as well. Uh, and it's not a bad thing. I do like Nutella. Who doesn't? I mean, uh, but as far as the strawberry is concerned, since it's the first ingredient listed on the flavor description, I really can't find it anywhere in this at all. I really want them to bump up the strawberry if they ever decide to reformulate. Um, as for the rest of the flavors, again, I, I get a little bit, a bit of that crepe flavor, maybe like a caramel in there as well. Uh, so it's not too bad. I do like the, the hazelnut kind of flavor in there. So overall, three, just because it kind of missed the mark as far as the flavor description is concerned. Uh, for the vapor, again, a four. And the throat hit, I'm going to knock this one down at one more point because uh, it kind of gives me a little bit of a dry mouth feeling. I'm not sure what it, exactly it is in there that leads me to get that feeling on my, my tongue and my throat. Just kind of dries out my throat a little bit. So... Uh, I'm actually going to knock a point off throat hit. Even though the throat hit's fine, it's just that after feeling in the back of your throat just kind of leaves it a little bit dry. So, uh, for this one, not too bad. I think it could have used a little bit better execution-wise, but overall it's a pretty decent flavor. Let's move on to our next e-liquid. Alright, so i got a new coil in here, tank's all filled up, and we're ready to go with Blue Label. So the flavor description on this one reads, a delicious brown sugar butter cake with a unique whip topping and side of ice cream. So forgive me if I'm oversimplifying, but it's kind of like cake and ice cream. So uh, brown sugar butter cake. So it should be interesting. Uh, I never really had a brown sugar butter cake myself. Uh, at least I don't think I have. Uh, so this should be an interesting experience. Let's go ahead and have a puff here. So right off the bat, I definitely get the cakiness to it, uh, definitely get the butter cake in there. Uh, the brown sugar is a little bit light and it's kind of like in the middle of the vape and you get a nice kind of vanilla extract or vanilla bean kind of uh, exhale. Uh, the, the whip topping and the ice cream is definitely very subtle and in the background. 
This one is the sweetest so far of the three that I have tried, so I'm actually kind of enjoying it for more of a desserty kind of vape. This is pretty good. Uh, as far as the overall blend goes, it really mixes nicely together. Uh, don't get too strong of any particular flavor. Uh, I almost hate to say it, but I kind of want a little bit more maybe out of this one. Maybe add a, like, a little bit of a fruit flavor in there. I think it would give it that nice little fruit finish to it that really would just top this one off nicely. But overall, I think this one is uh, my favorite so far. Let's give it another puff. So for the flavor on this one, I'm going to give it a 4. Not a bad flavor whatsoever. I just wish they would have had a little bit more in there. Something to really like, uh, you know, tantalize the palate a little bit more. The brown sugar is definitely noticeable. It is sweet, but not too sweet. Um, the butter cake, it's got a nice buttery kind of finish to it. As well as the uh, ice cream, maybe a little bit whipped cream after the fact. It's definitely a vanilla flavor, uh, which is really nice and noticeable. Uh, I'm glad that it's right on the exhale because it leaves a nice taste on the uh, tip of your tongue. Uh, very sweet flavor, but not too sweet. Uh, so overall, very good execution on this one. Uh, except I would have liked to see a little hint of fruit in there. Maybe blueberry, just saying. Uh, so for the vapor on this one, I'm going to give it a 5. I think this one has a little bit thicker clouds than the other two. Maybe it's my imagination, uh, I don't know, but uh, I do have to mention that I feel like this one gives off a little bit more vapor than the rest of them. And for the throat hit, I'm going to give it a 4. Nice and average throat hit, not too harsh, not too weak, uh, right where I want it to be. And it doesn't uh, leave my throat dry like the last one, which is a good touch as well. So overall, I really enjoy this flavor. Probably my favorite so far. Let's move on to our last and final e-liquid. Alright, so we are ready to go for Black Label. Our final flavor today is going to be an exquisite blend of tobaccos enhanced with liqueurs accompanied with sweet and creamy custards. So I've been kind of putting this uh, one off to the end of the video for a reason. Uh, not really a big tobacco fan, but I can appreciate a decent tobacco flavor. For instance, uh, Tripoli and uh, Soller's Point by Charlie Noble, as well as Ripe Vapes VCT, uh, which is a vanilla custard tobacco, which is kind of similar to this one. So I, in my head, I'm going to be kind of comparing them against that one uh, or those flavors. So, uh, let's go on with this review. I got Black Label in the tank, all ready to go. Let's go ahead and take our per first puff. So just as I expected, I get a heavy tobacco flavor right off the bat with this one. And, uh, you know, I do get a little bit of that liqueur flavor as well, and it, it does sweeten it up quite a bit. But the uh, custard flavor in there, which is way in the background, I really can't taste it at all. I uh, wish they would bump that custard up quite a bit to maybe smooth out uh, this vape and make it a little bit more creamy. Um, but overall, the tobacco in it is not that bad. It's definitely no uh, gas station SIG-like kind of e-liquid. It's way more intricate and intense than anything like that. Uh, you can t definitely tell that it's more crafted as well. Uh, so let's take another puff and uh, we'll see what else I can see in it. The tobacco in this flavor is definitely more of a dry, kind of leafy tobacco, more like a cigar or maybe a pipe tobacco rather than a cigarette tobacco. Uh, for those of you that love tobacco flavors, I would recommend this one uh, because it is definitely different. Uh, it doesn't, it's not too overly sweet, which I like, and the liqueur flavor in there is interesting, definitely livens this one up a bit. Uh, as for anything else on this one, uh, it kind of leaves a weird taste in your mouth a little bit. Uh, such to say that if you're, you know, up close talking to someone later on in the day, if you're puffing on this stuff, then you might uh, have them wondering what you've been up to since it's a tobacco with liqueur flavor. Uh, but anyways, let's take one more puff and I'll get to my ratings. So as for the flavor on this one, I'm going to have to give it a 2.5, which is mostly a subjective uh, flavor rating. Uh, for those of you that enjoy tobacco flavors, you might really enjoy this one, but for me, uh, definitely not my favorite out of this line that I've tried for you today. Uh, as for the vapor, I do get a little bit more vapor than I would off the other uh, flavors that I tried, uh, so I'm going to give this one a 4.5. 
maybe it's just my imagination, so I don't know. Four and a half, solid on this one. Great vapor production. And as for the throat hit, I'm going to give this one a three and a half, just for the fact that uh, it does leave an interesting taste in your mouth, and it might leave others wondering what you've been doing all day, uh, mainly drinking and smoking. But anyways, uh, it's not so much the throat hit that bothers me, it's the aftertaste to this one. Uh, so yeah, that about does it for the review section. Uh, if you uh, if I had to give a rating for each one, uh, my favorite flavor would be the blue label, second favorite would be the green label, third would be the red label, and finally the black label. Uh, so yeah, I want to give a huge shout out to Andre once again. Thank you very much for allowing me to do this review for you. Uh, if you want to purchase these e-liquids for yourself, I uh, have the links in the description for you there. Uh, they are $13, which is pretty standard for any e-liquid for a 15 ml bottle. Uh, I do recommend these flavors to anyone that's really looking to break up the monotony in their normal vaping, everyday uh, kind of vaping experience. These flavors are very intricate and uh, unique to say that, uh, you know, it would definitely cleanse your palate uh, if you're used to vaping something very, very sweet or something like that. These flavors will definitely uh, be a, li a little bit different for you. So that about does it for the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Don't forget to check out www.spinfuel.com for lots more of my videos, as well as Smoke and Joey and Spin Fuel videos. And as always, vape on. Thank you.